Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Carlos and this is Carlos's Corner. I'd like to welcome you back. Um, if you're new here, go ahead and consider subscribing. Hit that like button and guys, leave a comment if you like this video. Okay, today's video, we're going to be talking about how to make a YouTube thumb thumbnail using Canva. Uh, Canva is an application that I use uh, all the time. I've practically used it the entire time I've been making YouTube videos. It's very simple and easy to use. There is a free version and there's also a paid version. Um, so we're going to get right into it. So when you go to canva.com, there'll be a home screen um, or a home page rather, and you just type in YouTube thumbnail as you see what I have right here in the search box. Once you get that up, um, it'll give you all of these different templates. Um, guys, they have a ton of templates for you to use. You can see they're loading as I scroll down. Um, very, very simple streamlined process. You could also go up to the top and just click create a design and start from scratch, but I find it easier and faster to just use what they have available. Um, I use the same kind of color pattern because I want to make sure that my videos are easy for people to find. If they see that same colors, they'll think, oh, that's Carlos's corner. He uses those. So that's what I like to do. So first, what we're going to do is choose our template, which is this one here. We're just going to click on it. It may take a moment or two for it to load. So just bear with me. Um, again, I appreciate you guys being here. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Um, but it couldn't be easier to make a thumbnail for your YouTube channel, your Instagram, or your uh, Facebook uh, post or videos or lives for that matter. So, all right, as you can see here, we have a nice uh, picture of a girl. She's painting. Um, it says, let's watercolor the night sky, color mixing 101. We're going to do this in about 10 minutes, guys, okay? So first, what I like to do is go ahead and have the photo that I'm going to use already uploaded to uh, Canva. Uh, if you go over here on the left-hand side of the screen to Uploads, you can click on Uploads, and it will show you everything that you have in the computer. As you can see, I've got a lot of stuff from old videos on here. So we're just going to use this one that we have in stock and just drop it in really really simple um, before i upload this video i'll change that photo so it's not an old one all right then we come over to this top pink box these are the text boxes uh text elements rather um we'll come up to that top pink one and i'm just going to delete it all together okay next we'll come down to the bottom uh text box and we'll double click it and we're going to change Change it from Mixing 101 to Carlos's Corner LLC. We'll put our channel name in there. And then I'm going to drag the side of this box all the way out until everything fits nice and snug. And if you just tap on the thumbnail, the lines will go away. But that was really simple, right, guys? Okay, now we're going to come down to this bottom text box in the blue and we're going to right click on it and hit delete and the whole thing goes away we'll come up here and double click on the top box and we'll type in something simple like how to make a thumbnail very very fast let's change that For some reason i can't type today okay how to make a thumbnail very easy and if you wanted you could you know move it around uh but i think i'm gonna leave it just like that now i'll come back up beside of where i have carlos's corner and i'll click on the pink once i do that there's a box that comes up here to the left where it says color right here i'm going to click on that and i'm going to change the element color of that box to match the bottom then I'll come back and I'll tap the actual text and I'll change that color to black. That way it stands out better when uh, YouTube is suggesting your videos to, to, to people. They'll be able to see it a lot clearer. I think that helps. So we'll go down and we'll do the bottom one the same way. So pretty much that's ready to go. I mean, and it definitely didn't take 10 minutes um, yeah I'm used to using it but guys the it's user-friendly the, the interface on this thing is so easy to use 
Um, it's not that hard. We're going to go over here to the left hand side. You see this is the uploads tab and those are all the photos and stuff that I've put in. But if you click photos, it'll pull up uh, stock photos. And if you look down here, it says free. And on this one, it says free. Uh, Canva gives you free stock photos that are completely copyright free and you're able to use them. Um, right here, these, this one says pro. This one says pro. If you use the paid version of this um, uh, application, then you're able to use the pro ones. Um, some of the photos are just a little better, uh, but it's not really a big deal. I've made it work with the free version. Very, very simple. If you go back over here to this, uh, to the left hand side and click elements, it'll show you things like uh, emojis, little just little designs and stuff that you can use. If you go up here to the search bar and type in say YouTube and hit enter, then you will see that it will give you a lot of the YouTube icons and stuff for you to browse around. Like I said, you just hover over it and it'll tell you whether it's pro or free. If it's pro, then you know you have to have the subscription for it. If not, then you're able to use it. Um, and they have them for Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, uh, Twitch, LinkedIn, um, any social media sites that's there, they actually have them uh, for that. We'll click on print Pinterest just to show you guys. <clears throat> they are there. Okay, so then we drop down here. This, these are the text boxes. Um, it gives you three different fonts that you're able to use. Also, you can go down, you can make it, um, you know, neon, you can have cursive writing, um, you know, just a lot of different um, things that, that you're able to use. And um, um, like I said, you'll just have to hover over to see if it's pro or free. Um, you can even add music to it, guys. If you click down here on the little music symbol, um, you know, same thing, pro and free, but uh, there's many, many different tracks to choose from um, that you could play or use. You could actually get these and download them to your computer and use them during your actual videos uh, to play in the background. So, yeah, a lot of useful stuff here, guys. A lot of things that will make your videos pop um, to give you that edge over everyone else. Um, but we're going to go back up now to and click templates there. <clears throat> and so for the most part our thumbnails ready to go we've got our name we've got our title we've got our photo um, I think I'll go ahead and change this so if you click on just anywhere in the yellow that box comes up you click on it and I think I'll make that black there we go that gives it a better contrast so now this one is ready to go when you got everything ready you just go over to the download button you click download and uh, it'll let you use a transparent background or if you have more than one file, you can compress them for easier uploading to your computer or downloading rather to your computer. So I'm gonna click download. I'm probably gonna change that photo before I upload this video to YouTube today, but for the sake of this video, we're just gonna click download and it comes up and tells you that it's preparing your design. It'll give you a quote of the day from a, um, a famous person and then that's it, you're done with your download. Once your video is done processing over on the YouTube side of things, you just go over, drag and drop uh, it into the thumbnail text box or, or thumbnail box on YouTube and that's it. Simple guys, you've done it. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. I hope you've learned something on how to create thumbnails and just how easy it is. Guys, I appreciate you being here. Uh, go ahead, like I said, if you're new, Please hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, leave a comment and tell me if you guys like this content and if you want to see more stuff like this. Uh, but other than that, guys, I appreciate you being here. As always, keep God first. Come on back and we'll see you next time.